Okay. 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 Are you? Do you guys think you're ready? Yeah. I'm ready for your patience. Who? Thank you all for your patience. Oh my lord. Okay. 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 Thank you so much for joining us today. We are a full service ad agency based here in Knoxville, Tennessee, and we are so excited to introduce to you the Cool Beats Group. Hello, clients. My name is Andre Ariaza. I'm Lily Armstrong. I'm Jacob Durant. Kaylin Harris. I'm Brian McConnell. I'm Hunter Moore. I'm Mara Robinette. And I'm Timmy Strini. And this is our HelloFresh campaign presentation. So food is something that binds us all together. It's something we all have in common. Family, uh, family cooking time, meal time, uh, and meal time have been a part of our society for ages. Recently, there has been a huge push towards eating more healthily. However, there are some barriers to this, such as time and effort. We feel that HelloFresh is the solution. So over the past couple of months, the Cool Beans Group has been conducting intense primary and secondary research in order to achieve these two objectives. Our first objective is to attract first-time buyers and convert them into long-term customers. And our second objective, or sorry, excuse me, challenge, is to retain current customers and move them towards increasing their order frequency. By now, the meal kit industry is in its growth stage. Last year, the industry made $1.5 billion in sales, and it is expected to grow to a multi-billion dollar industry within the next five years. Right now, Blue Apron is dominating the meal kit industry with 71% of the market share, followed with by HelloFresh with 23% and Faded with 6%. And while these are the top three brands in the industry, there are over 150 other uh, meal kit in, uh, services in the nation, so it's really important for HelloFresh to distinguish themselves from competitors. Right now, the meal kit industry is really targeting millennials. Um, specifically, current meal kit users, 66% um, of them live in urban areas, and 71% of them are between the ages of 22 and 44. And while this is a great target, it's mostly based on uh, demographics, and we believe that in order to find a more niche audience, audience to distinguish HelloFresh, we need to focus more on psychographics and less on demographics. So through our primary research, we discovered our primary target audience. These are potential meal kit delivery service users, and we label them cooks in training. So cooks in training are people that are very interested in consuming foods that are, that are uh, by and large healthy and uh, healthy and fresh. Additionally, we also discovered that cooks in training are very interested in practicing and improving their culinary skills. They are very interested in spending their money on experiences rather than just products or uh, possessions. Uh, additionally, they are also interested in their, uh, the love of cooking, the love of food, and the love of fresh quality ingredients. All three of these lead them to feel that a higher price point is worth, uh, is worth it in the long run. And that leads us to our secondary target market, which we call online super shoppers. So online super shoppers have a propensity to utilize technology, as well as subscribe to online subscriptions and online services. Uh, these are current, current meal kit delivery services users and they are extremely tech savvy. We also found that they uh, tend to spend large amounts of money on online shopping and things of that nature. And additionally, similar to the, the cooks and training, they feel that the convenience is worth paying more for. 
So we decided to start our campaign in September 2017, and it will be 12 months long, ending in August 2018. We chose this time period because this is a time when many American families are returning from summer vacation and going back to school and going back to work. So we also set um, advertising and marketing and social media objectives um, to ensure that our challenges will be achieved. First, we would like to increase market share by 5%, we also like to increase retention rate by 4% and increase order frequency by 3%. For our advertising objectives, we would like to increase our brand, pref brand preference by 7% and brand awareness by 17%. For our social media engagement, we want to increase it across all platforms by 10% and increase our followers by 15%. So for our first primary research, we decided to do copy testing to see which ideas really resonated with both our targets. For our cooks and trainings, the ideas that were burnt was the safety net. This, um, the idea in this was that HelloFresh helped them throughout cooking, but our audience thought that it was only focused to people that had no culinary skills, so they did not enjoy that. And then for online super shoppers, our first idea was a click of a button. In today's modern age, you can get almost anything online with a click of a button. So this idea just was not unique enough to resonate with them. So our most tasty concept for online first cooks and training was to learn a cuisine. This really satisfies their need to improve their culinary skills in the kitchen. And for online super shoppers, the most favorite concept was to be healthy without hassle, which really emphasizes on the convenience, which they really um, crave. So for our branding strategy, we seek to appeal to our target audiences in a way that is both emotional and rational, while appealing to their, or while satisfying their desire to try and experiment new foods. And our positioning statement is as follows. HelloFresh offers an innovative way for cooks in training to learn how to cook a diversity of meals and experienced cook to continuously re refine and broaden their skills, all from a box delivered right to the door without any meal planning hassle. So our next primary research was creative testing. Here we tested the art direction and the copy to see what resonated best with our audience. We tested um, six storyboards against HelloFresh's current storyboard, and we found that for cooks and training and online shoppers, these were our least liked uh, storyboards. Our masterpiece was unliked because it was a little bit too serious. Our helping hand was a little bit too handicapped. Our just one click away was too bland. And mom on the move was just a little too cheesy. Our top performing storyboards for cooks and training and online super shoppers was trying something new, and do you. Both of these really focus on people challenging themselves in the kitchen and learning new techniques. Mm -hmm. And try something new mostly focus on how food brings people together and do you focus on the diversity. So with these results, it really helped drive our creative execution for this campaign. In addition, we also tested against the current tagline, Get Cooking, against six other timelines, as you can see here. And our results favor a cooking class in a box. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, we would like to present to you our cooking class in a box campaign. So to start with the recommendations, we're recommending a mixture of traditional, digital, and social media. Two thirds of the campaign will be focused on digi the digital side. And in addition, we'll be targeting nine of the top DMAs in the South, the West, and the Northeast. So to start with our first traditional television, we recommend a 30 second spot for cooks and training on popular uh, lifestyle networks such as Food Network, uh, HGTV, and Bravo. These will resonate very highly with our target market. Tonight, your kitchen is your studio. These are your tools. And this is your instructor. With easy to follow recipe cards and pre-portioned ingredients, cooking has never been easier or more fun. With new recipes every week featuring ingredients from all over the world, you'll never stop looking. All from a box delivered right to your door. Hello Fresh, a cooking class in a box. Displayed in front of you are three magazine ads that will be displayed within lifestyle, cooking, and as well as home living 
humanities. They're half pay spreads, and we really feel that this will resonate with our prospective consumers because we're teaching and educating them about the diverse and eclectic ingredients that are in Hello Fresh's meals. Through our research, we discovered that digital video is very, very popular amongst both target markets. So with this in mind, we actually decided to focus more on our perspective market and push our 30-second spot that we have for television and use it on sites like Hulu, Amazon Prime, and on the top TVs like Apple TV and Roku with apps such as Vimeo. With this in mind, it will be very, very effective amongst them. In addition, the next part of digital, we're going to do search engine optimization. This will help uh, meet both challenges because both markets are very, very more likely to research products and uh, services because they need to know more of what they're getting into and before they have an intent to purchase this, their behavior. Based on this, we've developed a word cloud with our secondary research and social studio. With this in mind, we should be able to maximize this campaign and the synergy all together. Here you will see a few digital banner ads that we will be displaying on foodnetwork.com as well as pgtv.com to target more of our current consumers, our online super shoppers, because we know that this target audience is primarily online visiting these specific websites. We know that these digital banners will serve heavily in this area. In addition, we will be geo-targeting mobile devices within a five mile radius of high foot traffic malls, grocery stores, and movie theaters uh, within our top DMAs. Also, we, we have created an HTML email newsletter to go out to our current, current subscribers as well, just to increase our order frequency and retain those customers that have long subscribed to HelloFresh. Based on our research, we found that Pandora and Spotify were very, very popular amongst cooks in training. So we decided to take this and create a spot with, in tandem with our banner ads as a call to action and created a 30 second radio spot. Here it is to help educate our market. There's more to Hello Fresh than healthy, yummy food and perfectly portioned meals. With every box, you have a cooking class delivered right to your doorstep giving you the chance to learn new techniques without ever leaving your house. The combinations are never ending, and with our professional chef-made recipes, even experienced cooks can learn something they never imagined. Hello Fresh, a cooking class in a box. So movie theaters, they offer a very unique opportunity of a captive audience few minutes before the preview. When we discovered this, we, did, we found out that our prospective users like action, adventure, science fiction, and animation films. These are a few of the films that will be running during the campaign and which we'll place ads in. When you go to the movie theaters, people generally eat before, eat when they're there, or they're gonna eat afterwards. So with food on their mind, our 30 second spot in the pre-roll will definitely resonate with our target market. <laughs> Boxes will promote word of mouth and encourage potential users. 
another branch of this uh, social media campaign will be in December where we will have our 12 day giveaway. Throughout this giveaway, it will be 12 days, 12 winners every day, one free box, and two free for friends and family. In addition, since this is a time of giving, we want to give 10% of our profits to um, Feeding America organization whose mission statement is to help end hunger in America, and we really feel that this will promote great um, corporate social responsibility with HelloFresh, and our audience will really uh, enjoy that. With the allotted $20 million budget, we put $2 million aside as our contingency. We decided to take the other $18 million and spend it aggressively given the state of the industry. We had our, this is our flighting schedule with our peak between August or October and December. During our simulation, we exceeded our reach and frequency goals. However, the movie theaters were not in the simulator, so in actuality, these numbers would be higher, but we just didn't know how to track this gap. Through the marketing, advertising, and social objectives that we have outlined today, as well as our timing and me measurement evaluations, we do believe that this campaign will further establish and not only achieve our objectives, but also conquer the challenges that have been described to you all today. Thank you again for this unique opportunity. We look forward for the chance to work with you in the future. We now open the floor for questions.